afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Lexington Catholic High School. William Warfield alongside the coach, Lee DeForest. And coach, we got a good matchup here today. We got uh, Brian Station taking on Cordia, uh, two good solid teams this year. Yeah, this is going to be an exciting game. You're going to have both teams come out with a lot of pressure, and uh, I'm excited to see how these two teams compete. You see David DeMarcus for uh, Brian Station. Well, he had a hot hand yesterday for uh, Brian Station, did an outstanding job for the defenders, and uh, double digits yesterday in scoring for him, as a matter of fact. So it'll be interesting to see how, uh, how the young man responds today against this Cordia team. Uh, Cordia team that uh, has shown some good positive things so far this season. Yeah, it was an exciting game uh, yesterday. You saw uh, Tim Dunn with the game winner there uh, late with the layup. But uh, they've been, Brian State's been playing well. I've seen them in a couple different uh, tournaments this uh, break, and I'm excited to see them here against Cordia. Well, we got our uh, for both teams as we begin this one. Uh, Brian Station. We told you about DeMarcus, but also the young man in there uh, is Raphael Few. He's one of those guys, five foot five senior, that's very quick. And then you also got number five in there, that's Rudy Guy, and he's probably the guy for Brian Station in transition. And then, of course, the young man that just jumped up for the basketball, that's number 10. That's Tim Dunn, probably the star on the team. Cordia gonna start off with the basketball as they look Right up top in the paint, go down low, turn around, jump shot, no good. Actually, it does fall in there. So yeah, Cordia. they just went right out and posted him up there, first play of the game. He got the shooter's bounce on that. And that uh, came in there off the hands of Bialis. They have Cordia in a 3-2 zone. They play a lot of different defenses. Uh, Done with a three from downtown Lexington. Go ahead, Lee. I know you were talking about the defense. Yeah, the Cordy is open up in a 3-2, and you've got Brian Station. They always play man-to-man, -man, and then you got got uh, Dunn starting off. He's probably their best outside shooter. At least he's been that way lately and opens it up with a three. So it be interesting to see how they defend that as the game goes on. I want to send a shout-out. we got uh, Shanika Jackson tuning in today. I want to send a shout-out to her. She's rooting for Mr. Dunn. Said that uh, Dunn is our favorite Brian Station defender. Cordia with the basketball. They work it over on the left side. Station kind of spread out now. What kind of defense are we looking for Station? Uh, they're still, they, I mean, Coach does a great job with them. I mean, they're going to play man-to-man. -man. That's usually what they play. That's their bread and butter. And you see Cordia in a 1-4 set. It's probably America's play. You have the shooter coming through the middle there. Uh, Brian Station's probably seen that before here in New Lexington, so they did a good job defending it. Um, but Cordia's being patient and resetting, so it's sort of both teams feeling each other out here early. Cordia in the white uniforms here. They are the home team. Brian Station in the visiting green and uh, yellow, bright yellow. But Cordia almost looks like Brian Station out there if they were in their home jerseys. There's a three from the right side. That one hits the back of the iron. And Rebound, Cordy, here comes the Lions. Chisholm with the basketball. Chisholm goes to his right, and we're gonna have a foul here on the court. It's gonna go against, it looks like it's gonna go against Rafael Few. Also checking in for Cordy is gonna be Omar Quinta. Well, he is a tall guy for, uh, for Cordy. He stands in there seven foot tall. He, yeah, it's unbelievable. You don't really see that in high school, seven-footer. Um, and they're playing behind him right now. You can see Coach yep. making the adjustment there, wanting to get around in front of him. Wait, yeah, and, and Keita has a hard time controlling the basketball. If he puts the ball down, Brian Station will eat him up. I have noticed that by watching a few of their games this season. Ball out top. Mercado has a touch on it as he swings it over to the left side. Chisholm's going to drive baseline up, and he gets the ball to fall down. That was a strong drive there and a good finish. Station coming back the other way. Four to three, our score. Cordia with a one-point lead early on in this one. 534 left to go here in the first quarter of play. William Moorfield, the coach, lead the forest here with us today. Coach, 
I seen you over in the hospitality room, and it's like, man, I got to get on the broadcast. I appreciate you being here again. <laughs> That's the easiest place to find us uh, in tournaments, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it's either up here working or at the hospitality room. Although I have to admit, I haven't been to the hospitality room as often as I would like this tournament. It's been back to back to back, and I mean, we between the girls' tournament and the boys' tournament, we're 50 games deep into this thing already. <laughs> Station with the inbounds, the jump shot comes up short. Rebound for the defenders. Davis came down with a rebound. He gets it back out top here. It's a few. And, yeah, and they switch more now of a uh, two-three zone. They're trying to take the ball out of the middle. You get um, it back up to Davis. Yeah. Brian Station looking for somebody to be open. They're going to have to create a lot of shots against Cordia. Here's DeMarcus for three. He got it to go. David DeMarcus. He's really been playing well the last few games, and he's getting more confident with each game. And, uh, man, if they're able to hit those outside shots, Cordia won't be able to stay in the zone for long. DeMarcus came over from Lexington Christian Academy. LCA lost uh, two good stars off their basketball team. Davis went over to West Jasmine. Of course, you know that. And then DeMarcus over to Bryan Station. Chisholm gets the ball inside. That's the big fellow there, Nelson. Nelson going to turn around, jump shot, no good. Battle for the board. DeMarcus comes down with it. DeMarcus swings it out ahead here. As we look over to Dunn, Tim Dunn. He's going to dribble back out top. Station, Davis with it. Gives it to DeMarcus. DeMarcus puts down the dribble. Back out top again. Station going to set something up. That's a nice job of probing to see what they could get. Now they're resetting to try to get something. Yeah. It's really good. Few goes way back as he gives it back up to Dunn, back to Few. Coach over here on the sidelines yelling out the plays. Yeah, they're going into a two-guard set, a 2-1-2 two -two set, as you can see. Uh, well, they're really just trying to pull. Uh, looks like they're trying to pull this is, Cordia. Uh, four corners right here, isn't it, Coach? <laughs> this is going to be interesting. It's uh, sort of a battle of wills. Um, so. I believe that's the uh, old way of saying the Dean Smith offense, the 2-1-2. Two, two. Is that right, Coach? Oh, yeah. That, uh, that's usually against man-to-man -man when you've got a huge lead or lead late. You're trying to hold the ball. It's interesting uh, to do it this early. But um, Brian Stations are trying to maintain the pace that they want, get the shot they want. They're not taking any quick shots. Um, Don going to take a three. As I say that. <laughs> he was wide left with it. Here comes Cordia back the other way. Chisholm. Now he's going to slow the pace down. Look over to Coach Roger Rhodes. Rhodes, a former University of Kentucky great. Chisholm gets the handoff, double pump, blocked. And it goes back off of Chisholm. Getting the block there for Brian Station was Rudy Guy. Yeah, is running a lot of box mm -hmm. sets, uh, and they're doing something interesting you don't see high school teams do. They're trying to post up. Uh, guards. Um, the previous possession, you saw the guy take the tough fadeaway. Usually uh, in yeah. high school, they don't do that. They changed the call here, Coach. Yeah, the official overturned the call. As one official saw it differently from the guy that was closest to it. How does that work? <laughs> so Cordia had the basketball as they get the ball in play. Nelson with the ball. Nelson looking back at Coach Rhodes. See a head tap called by Coach Rhodes. Be interesting to see what they do. Looks like a lob. Brian Station did a great job of defending it. Ball inside as Chisholm gave it into the big fella. Back to Nelson, back to Chisholm. Three on the way. Chisholm flopped there at the end. Didn't get the call from the official. The basket, or the three is no good. Here comes Brian Station, DeMarcus with it. Gives it back up to Davis, back to DeMarcus. DeMarcus open for three, good. Wow, way to shoot that with confidence. I mean, he made his first one, went right back up, no hesitation. They're gonna have to find him in De that zone. DeMarcus is fitting in at Bryan Station. Gonna have a traveling caught against Chisholm. He took steps before he put the ball down. Yeah, Station's pressure is starting to pick up on defense, and that's really going to key them. Uh, they're one of the best defensive teams man-to-man, -man, and they're doing a good job there. 
Pugh gets it into Davis here in the backcourt. Brian Station with the lead, nine to four. David DeMarcus with two threes in the ball game. And Station slowing the pace down again. They're going back into that 2-1-2, two, two, Coach. Yeah, it's interesting. Um, it's interesting to see that in the first quarter uh, with over a minute to play. But uh, they're probably they're just demonstrating that they're in control of the basketball, um, hoping that I guess Cordia makes a mistake. But it's it's interesting. You really don't see this very often so early in the game. Well, there's no shot clock in high school basketball, so they can keep in this as long as they want to, or until Cordia puts some pressure on them. And you can see why a lot of the NBA analysts, uh, a lot of the college guys, uh, talk about wanting to implement uh, sort of a mandatory uh, high school rule where all, all the teams have a shot clock. Uh, you can kind of see why, uh, you know, because some teams will, and not saying Bryan Station plays this way at all. I'm talking about teams throughout the bluegrass uh, that like to hold the basketball uh, to try to get the best shot to slow the tempo down. But it makes some, uh, it, you know, it makes difficult at times uh, watching, uh, yeah. you know, a team hold the ball for a minute and a half to two minutes at a time, not uh, taking a shot at him. So, Bryan Station likes the. Nine to four lead right now, but I guess they're playing ten a quarter. Is that what the? Is that what you think they're doing? Playing ten a quarter? That's what it seems like. Uh, you see both teams clapping. Um, it's interesting. It's really just a battle of wheels. It's a battle of the coaches. Uh, you know, and, and in all honesty, in the you know as the game goes on, Cordia won't be able to stay in a zone if uh, Station does have the lead because of uh, the reason you just saw. Davis going to make a move here up top. Swings it over to Dunn. Dunn three good. Tim Dunn from downtown. Shot at the buzzer, and that one misses to the left. Brian Station up 12 to four here on Cordy after the first quarter of play. You're watching the Lexington Catholic Traditional Bank Classic here live on Prep Spin, thanks to White Green Maggard Orthodontics. Choosing a college is a major decision. So why did I choose WKU? Because at WKU, professors are experts in their field. I'm encouraged to study abroad. And make the whole world my classroom. And where I get real world experience. Doing exactly what I want to do. And where I have all the tools I need to prepare for a successful future. It's all within my reach at Western Kentucky University. Welcome back to Bryan Station High School. Coach, what's on your mind? Well, uh, it was really a, two teams figuring out two completely different styles, as you saw. Bryan Station being the, uh, the aggressor the, the entire quarter. Uh, they were able to pressure Cordia with their man-to-man -man defense, whereas Cordia came out in a 3-2 zone, and I guess uh, they were hoping that Bryan Station wouldn't be able to make the three ball. But that's all Bryan Station's done. They've hit four threes the first quarter. They're up 12 to four. Um, I'm not sure how long Cordy's gonna stay in it, but uh, you know, Cordy's gotta do a better job trying to get their shots inside the paint, and Bryan Station just has to keep moving the ball, and they're really dictating the pace of the game with their defense and their offense. I said Bryan Station High School. I meant Lexington Catholic High School, of course. Bryan Station playing like it's their own home court. You can see Cordia switched immediately. They're in man-to-man -man now. Uh, they're going to come out and pressure uh, Station a little bit. And I'm going to tell you, Station doesn't mind that at all. They've got some really good ball handlers out here, and uh, I anticipate them being able to get to the basket, get to the rim, uh, and we'll see what happens. Few with the basketball up top. He's got Dunn to his left, to his right, DeMarcus. That's who he gives it up to. Back out top to Dunn. They swing it over here on the left side. Davis is going to take a long three. That one around the rim, back out of there. Rebound, Cordia. Here comes the Lions, Chisholm. As Chisholm crosses the timeline. To his right, he's got Nelson. He's going to dump it off to Nelson as Nelson comes back to the top of the arc. Nelson going inside the paint, left hand up and good. And here comes Brian Station back the other way. 12 to 6, our score. Tim Dunn gives it up to Davis. This is a five out set of just spread the court. They pass and cut, they keep the lane open. Um, you'll see him just spreading out, five out around the three-point line. DeMarcus puts the shoulder down, and he's going to be called for the charge there. As no doubt about it, he did put the shoulder down. Now, the interesting thing is, is to see DeMarcus go inside the paint against some of these big fellas down there. 
He's not afraid at all, Coach. No, and he's a good finisher. Uh, now you see Station picking up full court here. Uh, they play this a lot, 2-2-1 two, two, zone. Uh, they're going to try to make it difficult to inbound the ball. And it's interesting, they threw it right over their head there. you got to pay attention. Yeah. So there's our camera guy. Nelson gets that one to fall for <laughs> Cordia. You bringing the ball up the court for the defenders. Ryan Station and Cordia, we're in the Elite Eight of the Traditional Bank Holiday Classic here at Lexington Catholic. Ball over on the right side, there's Few, he's got it blocked, and here comes Cordia, Chisholm out of there with it, off the block, and nice layup. DeMarcus explosive. trying to catch up with him, just could not get there. That was explosive, um, nice take, and uh, it's really a battle of who's the aggressor right now. I mean, you came out, uh, Brian Station controlled that entire first quarter, and Cordia was passive, and now Cordia comes out in the man, and uh, it, they've just been the aggressor while, uh, you know, Brian Station's had a couple good looks. Uh, I anticipate coaches over there telling them, hey, let's get to the basket. We're a defensive team first. Uh, we can't give up transition layups as they've given up two in a row here. So I'm sure they'll make that adjustment out of this timeout. I saw – I was in the mall the other day, and I ran into the guy that told me, he said, I'm, I'm Coach DeForest's godfather, uh, Jerry Purdue. Does that uh, ring a bell? Yeah. Jerry, I've only known Jerry, uh, let's see, how old am I? <laughs> known him my entire life. Uh, great guy, they call him uh, Mr. Bulldog, Mr. big Bulldog. part of my family, um, been around our family. Uh, didn't get to see him as much as I wanted here over the holidays, but uh, he, uh, he used to be a radio personality himself, so uh, any tips, uh, send him my way, Jerry. Well, I know that uh, he was proud to talk about you there, and uh, – Wanted to know when he's going to get back on. Lee. Davis with a basketball. Davis right-hand dribble puts it over to the right wing. Here is Few for three. That misses everything. Nelson with the rebound. He gets it up ahead. Chisholm with a nice pass up ahead. Hang time. No good there on the putback. But we do have a whistle. And it's going to go back to Brian Station. Yeah, you know, Station hitting those threes early. Um, might have put them in a position where everybody now is trying to shoot the three. Um, mm -hmm. You know, it's better for them if they try to create uh, mismatch off dribble penetration. And, uh, you know, but you see Cordia back into a zone. Um, just interesting, Cordia's doing a good job switching up defenses and they're really working to keep the ball at the high post. Davis, jump shot, short, rebound, Nelson. Here comes the Lions back the other way. Nelson with it up top. And another whistle here, and we got a moving screen to call against Cordia. That's going to go against Keita, Omar Keita, the seven-foot sophomore. Mercado, uh, Raymond Mercado, six-foot sophomore, who wears number 24. Uh, he's trying to give Cordia a little spark on offense. And just about, you know, on that last time up the floor, he just about got a follow-up slam dunk, Coach. Yeah, you got to block him out and find him. He's a talent, obviously, at seven foot and being able to run the floor the way that he does. Uh, here, Cordia switched it up again. They took him out. Now they're in man-to-man. -man. Um, interesting to see what uh, Station does here. DeMarcus gives it up to Dunn. Dunn swings it over here to Few. Few back to DeMarcus. DeMarcus thought about three, gives it back up to Few. Few going to run things here for Station for a minute. 12 to 10, our score. Brian Station with a two-point lead. Good drive here, baseline, and it's going to be a charge called against the defenders. Chisholm took the charge. Yeah, Cordia's doing a good job. Uh, they're sagging off, playing man, uh, just changing up the defense is giving Station a little bit of trouble here. That's Brian Station's fourth team foul there. Two team fouls right now for Cordia. So not a lot called. We're in the second quarter of play. One four low here. One on one. Ball up top. Cordia going to take it right through the center. Up no good. Battle for the board. Put back up and Mercado working hard on the glass. Got his own rebound. Put it back up and in. Yeah, that's just a one four low there. Yes, sir. 418 left to go here. First half of play. We're all tied up. It's the defenders and the Lions. Brian Station, Cordia. David DeMarcus. Swings it up top. Hugh had a touch. Now he gives it over to Dunn. Davis now in the left wing. 
You know, I'll be interested to see if DeMarcus doesn't uh, try to take advantage of his matchup here soon. Um, it, you would think he would, might have the speed advantage and be able to get inside and create something. We'll see what happens. Here's Dunn. He's going to dribble up top, and then he was smothered by Nelson. Nelson, the D1 prospect, by the way, got many offers on the table. And uh, you saw Station, what they're trying to do there with the pick and roll with DeMarcus because he's going to pick and pop and he'll be open for the three. I think they'll get that to him next time on the side pick and roll. 12 all our score. DeMarcus to inbound here for Station underneath their own goal. Few with the basketball. Few's going to back it out. Station Murphy in the ball game now. Where's number 11? Yeah, here you go. Side pick and roll. They're trying to pick and pop. Marcus for three. And the one. Oh, he, he got hammered a little bit there. No call from the official. Ball out top here for Murphy. Done with it now up top again. Back to Murphy. Murphy back up top to Few. They swing it over here to the right side. Back up top. DeMarcus, well, they're looking for, they're trying to get DeMarcus involved. I mean, they are looking for Larry Bird out there to shoot that three. Yeah, they, uh, they're they going five out. He's being aggressive, I think, because of his matchup. He's got guard skills, DeMarcus does. And uh be interesting to see what they do now. If uh, if the big fella, Keita, if they stay in man and he's guarding DeMarcus, it'll be interesting to see how uh, Station handles that. 12 all our score, 2.58 left to go, first half of play. It's William Warfield here with you alongside the coach. Lead the forest. Here's Dunn, floater. Got it down. 14 to 12. That's what you want to see, more aggressive, getting in the paint with the shots. They've shot a couple uh, threes here early. I'm, I'm glad to see Dunn get in the paint and do something there. Chisholm with the basketball, left side here for Cordia, now up top. Mercado back to Chisholm. Coach Rhodes says, hold things up a second. Now he tells his team to go. Ricardo over to the left side. Nelson back up top. Little jump shot, free throw line, no good. Battle for the rebound. Kenna couldn't hold on to it. Here comes the defenders. That's funny. You had the shortest kid on the floor take it from the tallest kid because he took it on the ground and tried to go up with a power move. He's seven foot tall. He needs to just keep it high and get the shot off. Take the first shot you have there instead of going for the power dribble. Yeah, keep that ball up high too, don't you, Coach? Yeah, I mean, you know, number three, uh, he plays with a lot of heart, but he's not seven foot tall. He couldn't have gotten that unless he brought it down. So, Three on the way here from Few, no good. Ball goes out of play. It'll stay with Brian Station. 147 left to go here in the first half of play. I'll be interested to see if they uh, if they connect a little bit better on this uh, on this inbounds play. The last time they had it open, we'll see what happens. Here's the defenders out top. Murphy swings it over to DeMarcus. Back over there to Davis. Davis back in the ball game. Here comes DeMarcus. Cradles the basketball. Count the basket. And he's going to go to the line. Yeah, you know, 23, uh, 50, they're guarding him man to man. And uh, he's a shooter, so they try to get up and pressure him. But uh, he's got guard skills, so, you know, he just he saw the matchup in the middle of the floor. It's a really difficult place to help from. And he just put his head down and went to the rim and uh, able to complete the and one here. Trying to do the and one, and he does. As Gary Ball would say, the soup and the sandwich. <laughs> Don't want to steal his catchphrase, but, hey, that's exactly what it was. 17 to 12, Brian Station. Want to give a shout out to Gary. I know he's watching, by the way. Here's a three, Nelson, and he's fouled. He's going to have a chance for the and one. Could be a four point play here for Nelson. You know, he, he made contact with the shooter, uh, but uh, if you think two or three plays ago, DeMarcus had the ball in the corner and got clobbered, and uh, they called Tim there with a hand on his chest. So, uh, you know. It's that's fine with the call there, but we got to protect shooters on both ends, not just uh, not just that one. Well, Nelson misses the extra point attempt, <laughs> if you will. Ball on the right side. Am I still in football season, coach? 
You'd think after 50 basketball games the last two weeks, I'd be right there in basketball season. Here comes Chisholm and the Lions. Chisholm has the option. He's going to take it himself. Double pump, and what a beauty. Man, he is quick. That's difficult to do. Stopped on a dime, changed directions. We're all tied up, 17-all. This one's turning out to be a low-scoring classic, if you will. Coaches are coaching their hearts out here on the sideline. Well, again, here's the matchup that you want. 23 might be clapping, but he didn't have the foot speed to stay with DeMarcus uh, if DeMarcus makes a good move. I mean, you can slap the floor as many times as you want, but. Um, he's, he's hollering for DeMarcus, one-on-one. Sure, -on -one. Now the double team applied. Three from Davis, no good. Here comes Chisholm and the Lions. Chisholm's going to go around. Double pump up again, and this time it's going back the other way. It's a charge. DeMarcus took the charge. Heck of a play to get back. That's where Cordy has been hurting them in transition. Um, I think they've given up at least six points in transition, and, and uh, DeMarcus did a good job of getting in front. Hey, here we go again. It's a, it's a battle here with DeMarcus and 23. Station trying to go to the locker room with the lead. They'll be all right with the tie, but they want to go for the lead. Here's DeMarcus, three. Yes, sir! From downtown Lexington again. David DeMarcus. And you see a little bit of uh, after quarter uh, uh, interesting there. That, what, a, what a shot. Um, set him up. Took the shot at the perfect time. Didn't give Cordy enough time to get a shot back up. And uh, just in rhythm, a 23 uh, has to do a better job. But use his length. Uh, be a little, you know, give him space. But you got to be able to challenge that shot a little better. He had his hands down. And uh, I'm not Mark Jackson, but uh, you got to get your hand up on shooters. Well, Coach, we're going to take a timeout. We want to thank White Greer Maggard Orthodontics. They're a title sponsor here on the network. Check out this message from our title sponsor. I am Lee, and I'm happy with my smile. And I'm other Lee, and I ain't happy with my smile. I went to White Greer and Maggard, and they fixed my smile for me. And I never smile, and that's why I'm having some alone time here at dinner. I love that I can go to White Greer and Maggard with all my questions. And I love that I don't have to brush my teeth that night. Don't be like this, me. Go to White, Greer, and Maggard for a picture-perfect smile. It may not require a textbook, but it's filled with valuable lessons. It may not take place in a classroom, but it's an ideal environment for learning. It may not involve a diploma, but it can help prepare Kentucky's young people for life. It's high school sports. High school sports can play a critical role in a student's overall education. In fact, studies show that students that participate in high school sports are more likely to enjoy greater levels of achievement in their academic lives. If you think high school sports are only about competition, think again. Better yet, think about attending a high school sporting event in your community. You'll be amazed by what you see. High School Sports, a winning part of a complete education. This message presented by the Kentucky High School Athletic Association and the Kentucky High School Athletic Directors Association.
Well, coach, we're getting ready for the uh, third quarter of play here between Bryan Station and Cordia. So here we go. Cordia moving right to left now here on your screen is, man, what a shot there to end the half by David DeMarcus. 20 to 17 our score. Nelson with the basketball here for Cordia. Gives it back up top, Chisholm. Chisholm gets a screen up top, but few not having anything of that. Nelson with the basketball. Nelson kicking it back out top. They swing it back over here. Number three in there for Cordia, coach. You need to see who that is, but the big guy underneath, that was Malik Henry, got the basket, and he's going to go to the line. 20 to 19 our score. Few going to pick up the foul. 7.23 left to go here in the third quarter. Coach, what's on your mind? There, uh, trapping the ball screens, and uh, number three, uh, he did a smart move there. He picked and popped, and then he was able to find the big fell underneath. So I'm interested to see what Cordia does with uh, DeMarcus, who had 12 of the 20 points uh, coming out. I'm interested to see that matchup, who's going who's gonna to take the challenge of guarding him. You see they switched. Uh, well, they have 50 on him still, so it'll be interesting to see how that works out. Three from the left side, no good. Here comes Chisholm and Cordia. Chisholm out ahead, a pack. Laid up and good. Davis will bring the basketball up. Check that. Few will bring the basketball up here for Bryan Station. Few with the bright pink shoes on. <laughs> Davis now. He's got bright yellow shoes on. He does, and he's, uh, he, you know, the matchup there. Three on the way. Few. Few points for few there on that shot. It was a nice shot. Davis made a great play. Mercado bringing the ball up here for Cordy as he swings it over to Nelson on the right side and back out top to Mercado. Now in there for Bialis. Chisholm looks down low. Here's Malik Henry again using the body. No good. Good, good work in there. Actually, that was DeMarcus in there on the big fellow again. Ball out top here. Davis going to go into the paint. Up off the glass. Count it. That was a shot he might have taken a three in the first half and uh, did a smart move there, put his head down and went to the rim. 25-21 our score. Brian Station, they've got the lead. You can see Cordia, the concentrated effort right now is uh, really trying to get it to the rim. They're looking inside. Ricardo, three from the left wing. Yes, sir. Sorry, coach. Davis with the basketball. Few back to Davis. Davis going to put the dribble down. Good first hand dribble there. Malik Henry with the rebound, threw it right off the back of Chisholm, but Chisholm recovers. It's a nice drive by Davis. Chisholm slowing things up here for the Lions. Ricardo. Malik Henry posting up inside. He comes back out of the paint. Ricardo swings over here to Bylas and three good. Well, Cordy has got their three-point shooter as well. Bialis starting to light it up here for the Lions. 27-25, done with the basketball for Station. He gets it back out top to Davis. Davis over to DeMarcus. DeMarcus back up top here to Dunn. They swing it over to the right side now. That was Guy who had a touch back over to Few. Good ball movement here by the defenders. Jump shot Davis, no good. Big rebound, Nelson. Yeah, that was a good look, though. Um, you know, they got the ball where they wanted it. Now they got to come down here and get a stop. Cordia, again, is going to – looks like they're trying to hold it and go four corners themselves, uh, spreading the court here. Yeah, we're looking at the uh, – this is a 2-3, though, from Cordia. Is that correct, Coach? Yeah, that's correct. I mean, it's the same principle. They're just trying to spread them out, uh, keep it flat. So we got a 30-second timeout going to be called here by Cordia. We'll take you inside the hub here on the network. So thanks to Dr. White and Dr. Greer and Dr. Magger for all their support here on Prep Spin.
Coming back out of the timeout, Cordy will have it in front of the scores table here as Nelson is going to play it right at the LC on the middle of the floor. This is the 2015 Traditional Bank Classic here at Lexington Catholic High School. It's William Warfield here with you alongside the coach, Lee DeForest, former Garrett County head coach. And uh, uh, coach, you're over at West Jasmine now. Yeah, this is uh, this is interesting uh, with a two-point lead. Uh, Cordia is, uh, they're not going four corners exactly, but they're just trying to spread out the- uh, Nelson. Oh, they call the jump ball there. Yeah, we got a jump ball is done with that, those broad shoulders, that strong physique in there was able to get a hand on the ball and cause the possession arrow to go the other way. Marcus gets it in here to Few as Few is going to bring it slowly up the court here for Bryan Station. 27-25. This match is fairly even. Cordia outsides the station a little bit if they go into their bench, Coach, but I think Station's got more depth on their bench. Three is good, done. And a 30-second timeout going to be called here by Bryan Station. Yeah, done with another three there. Um, it's interesting, both teams have come out and both pressuring up and playing man. Um, you know, Cordy is elected to try to spread them out and drive it. And, uh, you know, Stations have had control of their pace. They played the way they wanted to play. And Cordia, Cordia has tried to change the way they play. Remember, they came out in that 3-2 zone. Now they're trying to play a little bit of pressure man. You know, and I think if Brian Station this half really focuses on not giving up those transition points that – you know, they kill any team. Um, if they just need to get back and stop them from scoring in transition, I think they'll be in great shape. Ryan Station doing an outstanding job this year. Head coach Tommy Johnson and the defenders. And they're in that tough 11th region. Ryan Station could, if they hold on to defeat Cordia today, you might have a big time matchup between uh, Bryan Station and possibly Dunbar if, if Dunbar can get past uh, John Harden. That's the left side of the bracket, folks. Could have all Lexington Final Four. We'll have to see. After today, we'll know. Yeah, Station came out there in a uh, full court press. They haven't done all game and uh, turned Cordy over immediately. Davis, jump shot. Good. Just inside the three point line. 30 to 27, Bryan Station. Davis comes up with another steal. Three on the way. Short. Chisholm out ahead quickly. He's got Bialis the other way. He goes for the dunk. Did not make it off the back of the off the back of the rim there, coach. It shot out of there like a like a cannon. Yeah. You like for your player just to go up. I know you want him to go strong, but just go up and make the layup there. But uh, you know. It is what it is. Brian Station with a basketball. Davis with it. That's the only thing I could think of. It was like a cannon. <laughs> <laughs> it works. Nelson clears out the rebound here for Cordia. Here comes the Lions. Nelson almost lost the handle as Davis got in there on his grill, and he does turn it over. He traveled. Yeah, Davis is extremely quick. He's going to be a difficult player to try to do, uh, try to take one-on-one -on -one from the top of the key. And, uh, he shows you why he's one of the best defenders that they have on the defenders. Uh, he came up with those two steals in the press and then forced the turnover there. 30 to 27, our score, 215 left to go. Third quarter of play. I'm William Warfield. That's the coach, Lee DeForest. Tim Dunn with the basketball. He's been in the weight room. You can tell. Look at those chiseled arms. Davis with it. Scoop. He hangs up there a little bit, draws the charge. Or, I'm sorry, draws the blocking foul from Chisholm. Chisholm was trying to take the charge. Instead, he was moving his feet. So a blocking foul and Davis at the line. You know, and Davis is a fine shooter, uh, but I would say that his strength is getting to the basket. And if you're a seven-footer, uh, like 23, you probably want to play off him a little bit more and uh, rely on your length to uh, challenge his shot uh, when he goes up for it. As it was, he crowded him at the top of the key, and uh, he was able to beat him off the dribble and draw the foul. Dunbar, John Harden coming up next, the Battle of the Bulldogs. 32-27 our score. And coaches switch defenses here. He's in a three-quarter court now, 1-2-2 two, two zone press. Again, just trying to force the tempo a little bit for Cordia. Yeah, Nelson hanging and draws the foul. 
Station fans don't agree, but clearly there was some contact there. And I believe that's going to be undone. No, nope, they're going to give it to Guy. So Nelson at the line here for Cordia. Free throw up, free throw good. Cordia down there in Hazard, I believe, is where it's at, Coach. Oh, yeah. And uh, Roderick Groves, the coach there, they did a good job handling the press. They uh, threw the skip pass, and uh, instead of settling for the jumper, he put his head down and went and was able to draw the foul. So that both teams being strong and aggressive on their takes to the rim. Sorry about that, Will. No, that free throw's good. 32-29 our score. DeMarcus swings it over to the left side, and that's done with the basketball for Bryan Station. Done. Gives it back out top here to Davis. Again, here's a mismatch. Uh, it would be interesting to see if they try to run and jump the ball out of his hands or if they just try to play him one-on-one. Uh, -on -one. 124 left to go here in the third quarter of play. Davis dribbles between the legs. Try to look inside, and Nelson with the quick hands comes up with the basketball. Here's Chisholm with it. Chisholm to Mercado. Mercado being picked up straight ahead by Davis. They give it up. Chisholm back to Mercado. Three, no good. Big rebound, Davis. Went up with one hand, came down with it. And slapped it together as if he was giving himself a high five. Few with the pass, but they get it out to the Marcus. Back out top to Davis. Davis swings it back out. Here is Guy with the jump shot. No good. And we got a – the ball is going to be out of play, or did they call a foul? No, uh, uh, they called it off Tim there. He did a good job, uh, Mr. Dunn there, of going up and yeah. trying to challenge the big seven-footer there for that rebound, but it just went off of him. And Station did a good job there. Uh, they were able to move the ball several times and got an open shot, just got to knock those in. But they're sharing the ball, doing a good job, and uh, – you know, big stop coming up here. 32-29 our score. Ryan Station with the lead. Nelson with the basketball for Cordia. Cordia's got 24 seconds to do something with it. And they're going to spread them out again as they've been doing. Um, Interesting to see what they're going to do here. They have a stack opposite on the right block. I guess they're running the shooter off here. Nelson swings it over here to Chisholm. Three on the way. Three, no good. Rebound by Ellis and put back up and in. Here comes Station. Long three, high. Oh, just misses. <laughs> wow, that would have been crazy. But, hey, man, both teams fighting it. Uh, you know, it's 32-31, low-scoring affair. Uh, you know, I, I think a little bit has been the shooting, but I think you can also credit – uh, both teams' defense, uh, they're both uh, scrappy and they're getting after it. Uh, you know, other than a couple transition baskets, everything has been earned uh, either at the free throw line or in the paint. So, uh, you know, both teams fighting hard. And uh, Cordia's big adjustment was uh, to get out on uh, uh, DeMarcus this quarter. I don't, think, uh, I don't think he's had as good a shooting quarter. But then you had uh, Davis step up and done as well. All right, we're going to take out a quick I am Lee, right and I'm happy with my smile. And I'm other Lee. And I ain't happy with my smile. I went to White Greer and Maggard, and they fixed my smile for me. And I never smile, and that's why I'm having some alone time here at dinner. I love that I can go to White Greer and Maggard with all my questions. And I love that I don't have to brush my teeth at night. Don't be like this, me. Go to White Greer and Maggard for a picture-perfect smile. Back here, Lexington Catholic High School, Cordia and Bryan Station, they're locked into this one. It's a close game, 32-31. Low scoring game, Coach, but a good game. Yeah, it's a great game. Uh, you can see why both these teams are in the bracket. Uh, you know, we're going to find out what happens. I, you know, I expect uh, the scoring to pick up here in the fourth. And uh, it's really just a battle of wills at this point, uh, William. Uh, you're going to have both teams fighting to see who can pull away. And it's really just going to be, I mean, we can get fancy with it, of X's and O's, but it's going to be about which team wants it the most here in this last eight minutes. 32-31, that's our score. As Cordia will have the basketball to start the fourth quarter here. Chisholm with it in the backcourt. Chisholm. Gives it back up here to Bylas. 
Ball almost poked loose as he gives it to Nelson. Nelson backing up his man, Guy, and Nelson misses the close range shot. Dunn comes down with the rebound for Station. Pugh with the basketball. Davis with it on the right wing. Davis, couple of dribbles. Slid a little bit there. He turns it over. Nelson comes up with it. Nelson going coast to coast, up off the glass and good. 33-32, Cordia takes the lead. Davis now with it. Few with the basketball. Up top here for Station. DeMarcus calling for it on the left side. That's who they give it to. And a turnover mm. as DeMarcus tried to get over to Dunn. Dunn looked up as the pass was coming his way. I think he was trying to figure out what he was going to do, or he figured out what he was going to do with it, was trying to make it happen a little bit quicker, Coach. Yeah, the uh, defenders come out here. Uh, they've lost a little bit of their aggression. They're going to have to pick it back up here on defense um, and get some stops and get some turnovers. And uh, you can see Cordia going back to the strategy of holding the basketball, uh, just trying to spread out the station. Cordia with the ball, and we got a reach-in foul going to be caught against Few, I believe. Yeah, Few is going to be called for the foul. So Brian Station on their team, they've got four seniors, Coach, four seniors. And we'll tell you about them here in just a second. Dunn got the rebound. He's heading back the other way. Three, good, banked in. They're going to call a timeout. Brian Station is Coach John, Tommy Johnson. He's going to try to set up something else on defense here. Yeah, uh, you know, it's interesting. Cordy has went to that delay tactic the entire game, and that's why, you know, another reason we had to score the way it is. But you saw Tim there, uh, uh, you know, do that crossover. He ended up banking it in, um, you know, under the challenge of uh, the seven-footer there. So it'll be interesting to see how that plays out. Well, Coach, it's always a pleasure to have you here. Uh, here on Prep Spin with us. Gary Ball will have the uh, last two games tonight. You and I will have the first two games. And uh, just want to thank everybody for tuning in. We got a lot of folks uh, watching today. And uh, definitely subscribe to us on our YouTube uh, page and then also follow us on Twitter. It's at Prep Spin, at Prep Spin. So make sure that, uh, that you're following us. And uh, we'd love to. We'd love to keep up with you guys as well. So, Coach, anything you got to add? Well, I'm interested to see what station comes out on defense. Um, you know, Cordia uh, ran the first play of the, the quarter here to post up. Uh, they like to post up their guards, which is interesting. You don't often see that in high school. If uh, Brian Station comes out in man-to-man, -man, I'll be interested to see if Cordia goes right back to that. Uh, but I expect uh, Station to pick it up defensively. You have to stay disciplined. You can't reach in just because they're holding the ball. you got to stay solid. Keep the five-second count on and just stay solid and don't get beat. And that's, that's a challenge, but uh, I think Station has the quickness to, uh, to do it. Well, here we go. Cordia bringing the ball up the court. Nelson with it. Spin move. Get by the defender there as Davis gave him with some pressure, but a good spin move there by Nelson. Chisholm with the basketball now for Cordy as they spread it out again. Nelson comes back and gets the basketball. Nelson with some big D1 schools looking at him. He goes to his right. Tried to kick it back over to the right side, and we got uh, another whistle here on the floor. And you can see with the score the way it is, even though Cordy is down one, their plan is to give the ball to Nelson, uh, you know, have some action away from the ball, but really it's going to be up to him to try to close this game for Cordia. Cordia to inbound the ball. They do get it in. Kina, Kita, excuse me, in there. Kita backing up his man, trying to, try to make something happen. And, boy, he's just throwing people down left and right. You know, He's seven feet tall and he's long. Well, he he comes, just needs to turn around and shoot that coach. Yeah, he, he comes down with that hammer there and it's like taking an elbow in, in WWE's ring. <laughs> 34-33. DeMarcus with a basketball here for Brian Station. Done with it here for the defenders. Done. Spin move, and he loses the handle, but he's fouled. A reach in 
Going to be caught against Nelson, I believe. Nice take by Dunn. Uh, fourth quarter of uh, games, uh, in the last few games, Dunn has really done a good job for, um, uh, for, for Station as far as scoring, and I, I anticipate him to be a little more aggressive as the game winds down. I know he hit the game winner last game and a couple other games before that. So uh, he's a nice player. I expect him to be a little more aggressive here as we close the game. That free throw, good. 35-33, Bryan Station. Hanging on to a two-point lead here against Cordia. Second free throw. Good as it rattles home. 36-33, Bryan Station. The holdup here as Chisholm not liking what Guy was telling them down there for Bryan Station. Guy said, I'm not going to give you no room here. And Cordia almost loses the ball. Good thing McCardo can jump the way he can, or else that would have been over there in the fifth row. But the ball is caught there on the rim. Brian Station will have it back. <laughs> what a play. Sometimes, you you know, it takes a little bit of luck. They're up three, have a chance to pull it up. Uh, double, double possessions here, two possession game if they can score on this one. And it gets stuck in the rim. So that, that's sometimes you need a little bit of luck. DeMarcus gives it back to Davis. Davis bringing the ball up here for Bryan Station. How about Keena, uh, the big guy up top for Yeah, I, I, th I really think Station is going to try to go right at him uh, late here in the clock. If he stays on Davis, I think Davis can get in the lane and make something happen. We'll see what happens, though. Hugh gives it back up to DeMarcus. DeMarcus uh, sort of quiet here the second half. They give it back up here to Guy. Davis straight ahead. Davis kicks it out to DeMarcus. Wide open for three, and he's going to take a jump shot instead as the defender came up top on him. and Rebound, Brian Station. Dunn has it. Look who gets the rebound. Big plays in the fourth quarter uh, by Dunn. That is such a mismatch out top. Davis, with any kind of crossover dribble, <laughs> will break the ankles of Quinta. <laughs> I'm telling you. Jump shot from the right wing blocked. Nelson got the block on in that one. Ball out ahead. Here's Cordia trying to finish on the other end, and we've got a foul. McCardo going to go to the line here for the Lions. Well, Davis is just waiting to cross over Keita up top. Yeah, and the guys uh, that catch it off the help have to be ready to make the play. I know Dunn went up for the shot. He probably should have shot fake there, but uh, the thing that you've got to be concerned about here late is you can't, in such a low scoring game, William, you can't give up layups. And I, that's why, you know, that foul necessarily wasn't a bad foul. But we got to get back and transition once the ball shot. You can't give Cordia uh, transition baskets as they've been getting most of the game. You got to stop them from scoring in transition. One of two free throws hit there for the Lions. Ricardo at, was at the line there for them. And 36 34, our score. It's a two point lead for Bryan Station. The defenders trying to defend that lead the rest of this ball game. Backdoor cut, and actually he was left all alone in the backdoor here, Coach. Well, Cordy had tried to double-team Davis there. Uh, they, you know, the matchup we were speaking about earlier there in the previous possession, uh, you know, the mismatch that you mentioned. Uh, and so they left the double team, and that was to, uh, just to be a play there by Davis. If he could have just connected on that pass, that would have been an easy layup. But uh, as it is, they turned it over and have to get a stop now. Chisholm bringing the ball up the court here for the Lions again as he crosses the LC in the center of the court. Coach Danny Haney court there you see written in cursive. Nelson with it. This is the Buter Gymnasium here at Lexington Catholic High School. Beautiful facility. Here's a three from the left wing. Chisholm no good. Big rebound there for Brian Station's guy. Guy gets it back here from Few, back to Few. Few looking over to the left side to DeMarcus. DeMarcus with it, he gets it back up top. Station worked it around the horn, they kick it back out top. Now back over here to the right side to Few. DeMarcus with it. They had doubled down on DeMarcus here in the second half. 
Well, they're in this, uh, they were in the five out, now they're DeMarcus trying to DeMarcus trying to split, split the double team there and trying to claw his way to the basket as he was hammered. Station will have it underneath their own goal. 36-34, Coach, 2.51 left to go here in this ball game. Watch this left block. Watch it. You caught it. And there it is, Coach. You on cue caught it. Davis with the assist, Few with the basket. Oh, that was a big time charge. Mm. Oh, he called it a blocking foul. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't know what else he's supposed to do there. The guy lowered his shoulder and used his off arm. Um, wow. You know. Oftentimes it is official discretion. He was on top of it there. But from what our angle showed up here, Coach, I don't think that that was disputable at all. No, the only thing they could say is he was late sliding in uh, and the foul occurred, you know, his, uh, his block occurred before the push, but uh, I don't know. Nelson with the basketball. Nelson going to his right side, double pump. No good. Battle for the board. Mercado down on the floor. And our Scott Kenta was down on the floor. Kenta, and uh, he, he said, official, I asked for the timeout. You didn't give it to me. Yeah, they called a travel. They said he had possession of the basketball and uh, just fell down with it, which is a travel. So, 38-34 the score. 2.15 left to go. Few with the ball. Inside to Davis. Davis kicks it out there. Three on the way, three good. That was Guy with the hoop. That's a huge shot, Coach. Or actually, that was Dunn. That was Dunn that scored that one. They credit Dunn with the hoop. And the score, 41 to 34. Yeah, it was Dunn. Uh, I told you, man, fourth quarter, Dunn shows up. That's a huge shot. He got a huge rebound earlier. Uh, gives him that. Watch the lob here. Three coming from Kenta, and he got it. The big man shot the three. Wow. Maybe that's where they need to keep him as outside beyond that yard. Few kicks it over to Dunn. Dunn back out top to Few. Oh, and we got a heavy reaching foul. Well, you know, and the thing is, they can be more aggressive here in this final 93 seconds we've got. Because now, well, the next foul will be the bonus, I believe. I think, well, if they only have five team fouls, they got another free one they can reach in or slap somebody and maybe knock a ball loose. And if the call's missed, it's a steal. 41-37 our score. Brian Station trying to hold on here. They got a minute and a half to do so. Done with the basketball. Vilas comes in there and fouls them immediately. Yeah, it's going to be a battle here. Uh, Brian Station needs to step up, finish. Uh, Finish their end game, one more foul here, and they'll be in the bonus. They need to step up there and knock in their free throws. Station looking to get the ball into play. Guy plays it in the backcourt. And we got a over the back call here against Cordia. Chisholm. Chisholm. Also chasing the ball, but it was a good block out, I guess you could say, there on the inbounds from from Pew. Yeah, as a coach, you prefer uh, a little safer inbound play, but, you know, it worked out there, and uh, Cordia had to foul. 41-37, that free throw is good. 42-37, five-point lead here for Bryan Station. All they need to do is get one stop, be solid without fouling. Get one rebound, and then they'll have much better control of this game. The defenders trying to move on. They'll take on the winner between John Harden and Dunbar. That game's coming up next. Don't foul. And free throw around the rim and back out. Station. Cordia got their own rebound. Quinta again, he's trying to take over the ball game. He's got five quick points for Cordia at three and then that put back just now. And our score is 42-39. It's a one possession ball game. Brian Station, however, will have the basketball.
Yeah, you've got, um, you know, Brian Station's job now up three, uh, less than a minute. They've got to get the ball into their best uh, free throw shooter. Anticipate an early foul. If not, once they get across half court, some coaches like to, uh, you know, with only down one possession, they'll try to, they won't foul you immediately in the backcourt. They'll try to get a hard trap, uh, maybe get a jump ball. Um, you know, it's obviously it's Cordy's ball if they do get the jump ball. So, you know, that's, that's kind of what's going on. A lot of coaches will uh, maybe even try to wall up and take a trap uh, here, maybe draw a charge um, if you're Cordia. Uh, if you're Brian Station, you're just trying to run your regular press offense, get the ball inbounds, spread the court, get it across half court, be prepared for pressure. And uh, once you get it across half court, you try to center the basketball. You try to get it to the center of the floor, uh, which is a much more difficult place to trap. And uh, Cordia, at that point, is going to have to foul you. So just be strong with the basketball here. Make smart passes. I know Brian Station has at least three timeouts left. So if you can't get it inbounds, call a timeout. And uh, it'll be interesting to see when Cordia chooses to foul, uh, when they choose to trap. And so here we go. Davis going to bring the ball up here for the defenders. 110 left to go in this ball game. Ball on the right side, done with it. Kick it back out top here to few over to DeMarcus. DeMarcus spins to his left, gives it up to Davis. Davis going to go baseline. Davis, he lost it on the baseline right there on the line, coach. And Cordio will have it back. They're down by three. And did we get the call reversed? Did it get reversed? I think they're going to say it's going to go back to station. I guess they say he tipped it out. Timeout. Going to be called Coach Rhodes coming out there and say, what's going on? I thought it was our basketball. Yeah, that's uh, that was tough because the baseline official signaled uh, that it was Cordia's basketball. I think if his immediate signal would have been Brian Station basketball, there wouldn't have been any discussion. But as it stands, you had um, Cordia doing a good job. They pressured without fouling. You know, again, down one possession, some coaches will take it under, you know, whatever they're comfortable with, you know, 30 seconds maybe, uh, wherever they're comfortable taking it. So it uh, be interesting to see if Cordia fouls immediately and what Bryan Station does underneath out with the basketball. They scored the last time, so maybe they'll be able to do that again. 42-39, Coach, as we're in a timeout. If you're in this timeout right now, what are you what are you telling the defenders out there? And what are you telling Cordy? Cordy obviously, you know, needs to come up with a with a you know three point play here if they can. Yeah, Cordia has to get the basketball back, and they, their enemy right now is time. So uh, I think a quick inbounds trap. Hey, if they throw it to the corner, let's double it really hard. Maybe we can get a steal. If not, once they kick it out, you have got. I mean, you have to at some point under 30 seconds. You want to foul, put them at the free throw line, make Brian Station make free throws. And uh, if, you're if you're stationed, you got to handle the basketball here. Keep it out. Just let the time run off. Here we roll. We roll and we go, coach. The defenders get it in to Marcus. Well, he about, oh, he did turn it over there to Nelson. Nelson came up with it and, ooh. That's a corner trap. Nelson going to be fouled here on the floor. 44 seconds left to go in this one. 42 to 39 our score. That might not have been a bad foul there by Brian Station after losing the basketball because that takes away the three point play here. Yeah, they put him on the line. I mean, if you're Cordia, you want to get to the free throw line. They have their best player there now and it stops the clock and lets you cut into this deficit. Cordia hasn't shot the best free throws tonight. That one is good, however, by Nelson. Nelson's probably one of their better free throw shooters. Yeah, Brian Station, you know, he threw it into the corner down there and got trapped. We got to get better ball control here late. Gets them both. It's a one-point ball game. 42-41 our score. 44 seconds left to go in this one. Don't go anywhere, folks. This one coming down to the wire. I am Lee, and I'm happy with my smile. And I'm other Lee, and I ain't happy with my smile. 
I went to White Greer and Maggard and they fixed my smile for me. And I never smile and that's why I'm having some alone time here at dinner. I love that I can go to White Greer and Maggard with all my questions. And I love that I don't have to brush my teeth at night. Don't be like this, me. Go to White Greer and Maggard for a picture-perfect smile. We return here to Lexington Catholic High School. It's the 2015 Traditional Bank Classic. It's the Elite Eight going on here live right now on Night Vision in Prep Spin. Coach Lita Forrest doing color commentating today. I'm William Warfield giving you the play-by-play -play of this one. And we got ourselves a game that's going down to the wire. Bryan Station, they lead by one. They've got the basketball. 44 seconds left to go in this one. 42-41 our score. Marcus got the ball in quickly, but we got a foul going to be called right away here, away from the inbounds. It was going to go against Cordia's Chisholm. So that's going to automatically put Brian Station on the line. And it's going to put Few at the line here. Smart move. Well, that was, uh, I, I, you know, I. That was not anticipated at all. I know they don't. They lose a lot of speed uh, with that kid off, as well as shooting ability. When you're down, uh, you know, one to, you know, one possession here. I think they called. He got his hand caught in his jersey, and they saw that and called the foul. So, just got to be a smarter play there. Keep your hand off. And uh, they fouled one of Station's, you know, better free throw shooters. So, he did a good job. He's going to go up, and knock these in. It's going to be about. You know, a coach's decision here, I think Cordia with enough time left is going to go right to the rim, try to get fouled, try to stop the clock. Uh, they don't have to go for the three, even if they're down three points at the end of this free throw. This is the next free throw. That one's good. Hits them both. Bryan Station with a three-point lead, and Cordia wants to take a timeout. They want to talk about it, Coach. We'll keep it right here. As of insight here as to what uh, maybe Coach Rhodes is thinking. <laughs> well, I, you know, 43 seconds um, in this kind of game, one possession. I think it's plenty of time to get the ball into your best player and uh, let him try to get to the rim, and he can either draw a foul or maybe get an and one. Um, at the same time, uh, you know, Brian Stason's coach has been doing this a long time. He knows that. Um, you know, he might double. I saw him double once. Uh, you know, they doubled him once and kept the ball out of his hands. Um, I'll be interested to see. Uh, you know, if they let him isolate and go one-on-one -on -one or if they run and jump. And uh, the biggest thing I think Station's going to have to do now on this possession is you have 23 and 50 in there for Cordia. Those are two big boys. Yeah. And you, if, on that first shot, if it's a driving shot and you're rotating, that's going to be an easier rebound for Cordia. So you're going to have to keep the ball in front, make them shoot over you, and get the rebound. You can't let them get in the lane, and then you have to keep 23 and 50 off the glass. 44-41 our score. Brian Station with a three-point lead. Cordia has the basketball. They'll have to come the length of the floor here. 43.5 seconds left to go in this one. William Warfield alongside the coach, Lee DeForest. Yeah, I think the ball's going straight to Nelson, and uh, he's going to try to make something happen uh, with 43 seconds. Here comes Nelson. And you're right, coach. Nelson bringing the ball up to court here for Cordia. Nelson goes right into the paint, draws the foul. Yeah, that's that's difficult. That's one of those plays where, you know, the kid could have kept his hand straight up, no call. You kind of smack down. They're going to give the call to the offense, especially late. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's why he's at the free throw line right now. So it's, again, it's about finishing. You know, you, if you play golf, you have a long game and a short game. Now we're at the short game. It's going to be about Brian Station controlling the basketball, getting it into their free throw shooters, knocking their free throws down, and when does Cordia foul? That's what it comes down to. Short on the second free throw. DeMarcus has it. Gives it up here to Few. Few going to give the ball up here to Davis, and Davis is immediately fouled by McCardo. And we got some wild fans up here. <laughs> They're wearing some Cincinnati Reds hats there. I guess they caught those in the fire cell too, huh? <laughs> well, you know, a lot of times you will see that uh, officials call that intentional foul when you grab the guy, you don't make a play on the basketball. 
Um, Free throw rattles in there for Davis. And Davis is one of their better players, too. And, uh, you know, it might have also looked like the kid was trying to keep Davis up when he pushed him and not let him fall. So, you know, I think they got it right. Same free throw, also good. 46-42, it's a four-point lead for Bryan Station. And Nelson telling his team to come back. Well, he, he's supposed to be the guy. And the official says, no, you got to inbound it here. Well, he's supposed to be the guy that takes it to the basket. He doesn't want to be the guy inbounding it, so he, he fixed that really quick. And there we go. Bylas tried to get it in, and it was knocked away. Good defense there by the defenders. That was a uh, guy that came in there. Or, I'm sorry, few that came in there. Few came in there and knocked that one away. Ricardo bringing the ball up to court here for Cordia. Bryan Station trying to hold on. Ricardo goes to his right, misses. Got his rebound, but he was out of bounds when he touched the basketball. And it'll go back to Bryan Station. DeMarcus to inbound. The, that, is, that is such an odd matchup there between the big fella and Davis. <laughs> As we got a quick foul right away. 46-42. Well, it's a two-possession game now, no matter what, even if he makes both. Um, you know, at this point, if you're Cordia, 18 seconds down four. Uh, if you get down six, you know, you have to take the three. I think he'll maybe get it across half court and call timeout and then maybe try to get a three. But uh, Brian Stace still has to finish the game and make the free throws. And a free throw off the back of the iron. I hope I didn't jinx him by saying that. Uh, he's a nice shooter. I'm sure he'll get up and finish the second one. 46-42 the score. 18 seconds left to go. A few at the line here for Bryan Station. Missed the first one, hits the second. Dallas going to inbound the ball here for Cordia. Don't foul. Nelson with the basketball. Bryan Station trying to hold off on fouling these guys. Three from Nelson misses. Bialis trying to get the rebound. And the ball's on the floor. Station has it. Davis tried to get up with it, and he gave it to DeMarcus, and that's going to do it. Brian Station defeats Cordia. Big win for the defenders. As Coach Tommy Johnson and the defenders defeat Roderick Rhodes and the Lions of Cordia. What a game, Coach. Hey, what a game. You know, I mean, a lot of people might have wanted more of a, a high-scoring game, but that's just not the way the game's played sometimes. And uh, without a shot clock, there's nothing that's going to affect the pace of the game. If a coach wants to hold the ball, uh, they can do that. And uh, Bryan Station was able to adjust their style of play and did a good job taking care of the ball late, uh, making their free throws and doing what they had to do to put the game out of reach for Cordia, uh, who played a great game. There's some very talented players for Cordia. Um, uh, they just ended up on the short end here as uh, uh, Station's able to pull late with some good shooting and rebounding by Dunn, as well as some free throws by Davis, and uh, just sealed the game there late. All right, Coach. Well, thanks again for uh, for coming on for this game. We'll have you again here for the Dunbar game, hopefully. And, uh, man, good basketball game here in the first of four games that we got tonight of the Elite Eight. It's William Warfield for Coach Lita Forrest saying until the next game, so long, guys.